Today, I'm going to teach you about protists. After today, you should know that protists are unicellular, meaning they have one cell, they have a nucleus, they generally live in damp areas, and there are three major types, fungus-like, plant-like, and animal-like. The main characteristics of protists is that they have been on Earth for a really long time. They're the most complex of the single-celled organisms, more complex than bacteria and archaea. These organisms have a nucleus. It's the most diverse kingdom, kind of a catch-all for lots of organisms. And all of these organisms live in moist environments. So, can protists move? Some move by using flagella or cilia, so they wiggle around hairs to move around. Some just float about like seaweed and diatoms, and some stick and slide over surfaces like slime molds. How do protists get energy? Some are producers, some are consumers, some are decomposers. So another way to say that is some are plant-like, some are animal-like, and some are fungus-like. The first group we're gonna talk about are producers. They use sunlight to make food, otherwise known as plant-like protists. we're going to talk about are the animal-like protists. They are consumers. They have to ingest or eat their food in order to get energy. So these protists don't do photosynthesis. Some are parasites and they move in different ways to get their energy, which is how they are named. And they all have chemicals to recognize their food sources. So the examples you're going to see next are of ciliates, flagellates, sarcodines, protozoans, and parasites. are the decomposers, or fungus-like protists. They absorb materials from the soil or decaying organisms. There are three groups of mold, and my favorite are the slime molds. Slime mold has a really cool life cycle. It starts over here by my hands as either a flagellated cell or an amoeboid cell. When those two come together, they go through mitosis and make this big oozing feeding plasmodium. When food that they're trying to absorb runs out, they will spread out and into and send up little stalks that have spores on the inside of them. Those spores then hopefully fly away into the wind and start a new plasmodium somewhere else. says hi and can you figure out the answers to the little mini quiz right after this. You can pause it here if you need to and go back and look at your notes.
Hope you found the right answers and thanks for watching. Bye.